and he is holding close to that double yellow line. Five to go this time for Dave Blaine. Three wide behind them. Everybody jockeying for position and looking for a place from which they can run to the front in the final lap. We just got to not make any mistakes here because it's, uh, it's it's this is the race. This is the field. And Daryl Kurt Bush, the 22, he got off of Dave Blaney in the 36. They're going to go from first or second to about 18th or 19th. Harvick and Boy are trying they, on they, the bottom. Listen, they did the right thing. They realized they weren't fast enough with Kevin in the front. They made the swap, and now they're fighting back. Four laps to go. Carl Edwards came in as the point leader. He leads this race by a car length, Krista. And this was the plan all along, Mike, for Carl and Greg. With 20 to go, Greg told Carl, I know you're going to want to go hard, but we've got to wait till there's four or five laps to go. That's when we'll go, and we can win this race. They're going as hard as they can, but Boyer is pulling a train up the outside. What a great move, Larry. What a great call on Boyer's part. Let me lead. I'm faster. You push. And they did it early enough. They're able to recover from it. And they're fighting back. Oh, oh a car around. And around goes Blaney. He saved it. He saved it. No yellow. Hey, another famous, another great dirt track racer and a great dirt track save. But what a heartbreak as Blaney will not win today. They come to the line, three laps to go. Boyer in front of Harvick. Edwards third, Biffle fourth, Jimmy Johnson, Earnhardt, Gordon, Martin, Truex, and Rudiman, the top 10. Kurt Busch. That is the third car to spin <laughs> off the front bumper of Kurt Busch today. Got something sticky on front of his car, too. Guys, we'll be coming to two laps to go. We're not done yet. 85 lead changes. Paul Menard trying to win his first Sprint Cup race. Uh-oh. You know what those two up on the top are saying, don't you? Where'd they come from? <laughs> <laughs> Carl Edwards in that 99. Greg Biffle in the 16. Two to go this time. And they timed that out pretty darn good, Bo, because time that Boyer and Harvey get back to them, it's going to be tight. Two laps to go. Remember, seven of the last 11 Talladega races decided by a last lap pass. Boyer and Harvick coming again on the high side. Yeah, Boyer got, he got real tight on the, the side of the 16 car, but it's paying off. Drag race down the back right there. But they can't clear the Fords and protect the bottom because Edwards comes storming back on the inside. Well, what else it does is opens the door for these two cats right here who have timed it out pretty darn good coming to the white flag. And there comes their teammates as well. Johnson and Earnhardt Jr. White flag this time. Those have been the two best cars right there. Most of this race, they're the, just now showing it. The bell lap and the man who started up front leads it, Jeff Gordon. But here comes the next two pair that these two cats right here, they may have timed it out too. Let's see what happens down the back. Now they will get a draft off Mark Martin. And here's the slingshot to the outside. Stay together. That's what they're saying. Stay together. Push, push, push. Oh, we get tight down here in turn three. Don't forget Jimmy Johnson and Dale Jr. Fifth and sixth. They are there. Which group will they go with? And will it help the Jumper's cars? Or will it help Jeff Gordon to victory lane? All bets are off. They get to the middle of the trial. Watch out down low. Way Good down run. comes Johnson. Good run. Boy. He's got room. They're three wide. Three by three to the line. Johnson. Maybe Jimmy Johnson. I believe he got him by an inch. Two one thousandths of a second he beat Boy. Okay, a sixteenth of an inch. Have you ever? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, we have, I have never, never seen anything like that. No. What a finish. That's how you do teammates, man. Go up and congratulate them. Both y'all won that race. Both y'all. An unbelievable finish where Jimmy Johnson had just enough room 
between the two cars on the inside and the double yellow line because crossing that would have cost him the race. He had the room. He made it work. It, it just it, it's amazing how things will work out sometime for you and sometime that time it worked to perfection. Watch this. Jeff Gordon watching Boyer seeing if he can beat Boyer left just enough room on the inside for Johnson and Earnhardt right there in the tri -oval. It's Boyer's race. Yeah it looks like Boyer's pulling ahead but then all of a sudden they hit that air that wall of air. Here comes that 48. But Darrell the start finish line here is a thousand feet further. And look how close it is four wide at the wire. That is just a beautiful thing right there. Two, four, six, eight cars. So close, we can hardly capture it with our stop motion camera. There's a look at it, and there is the margin. Daryl, this so reminds me of 1981 when you're looking over at Terry Labonte to make sure you beat him. Today, Jimmy Johnson was the Ron Bouchard of 1981 who swept to the inside and won it. Mark Martin saw the 48 coming, but he couldn't do anything about it. Jimmy Johnson and Dale Earnhardt Jr. never left each other all day. And look at the Exmo, the Fox Exmo look of the finish as Jimmy looks for the checkered flag at the start finish line. Any of those eight cars could have won it. Jimmy Johnson did. Here they are coming down the back straightaway. Fifth and sixth. I think what really helped them was when uh, the 24 and the 5 got side by side and the 33 and the 29. They gave the, they gave the 48 and the 88, Jimmy Johnson and Dale Jr. That gave him a real suck right up to the back of this foursome right here. Now, when these four cars are running side by side, you've got to find a place to go. Thought about the outside, but knew he couldn't do it. Right here, Mark Martin could have maybe saved the win for Jeff Gordon, but he didn't get down in front of Johnson quick enough. Johnson got to suck off of all those cars, beat everybody to the line first. And look at Carl Edwards. He was three car lengths back exiting turn four, and he almost gets to Johnson at the finish line. Jimmy picked up the flag from the starter and brought it to his teammate and wingman, Dale Earnhardt Jr. That's sweet right there, boys. This ties the Ricky Craven, Kurt Busch finish at Darlington for the closest margin of victory since the advent of electronic scoring in the Sprint Cup Series. We were there. At Darlington, <laughs> 2003. Rick Hendrick congratulates his driver. Here's Dick Berger in victory lane. And Jimmy Johnson has just now pulled into victory lane. <laughs> As it gets just a little wet down here, Jimmy, walk us through that last lap and tell us how you drove the car to win the, to win the race. That was Jimmy cleaning our lens. Man, I thought we were in trouble. Um, Something happened with like two to go and we got disconnected and had a really tough time here in junior um, on the radio. So I didn't know what he was saying or what he needed, but we were disconnected and I got us back together and I think he was overheating. But uh, we got hooked up and rolling and then all of a sudden it was just two groups in front of us. Had a big run down the back. I thought at the bottom they protected it and then I just rode through three and four and I'm like, we'll get another chance, I hope. And uh, they were worried about each other in the second and third lane and left that bottom open and we had some big mo on our side and and off we went. So uh, it's great to have a plan work out. I mean, we we agreed to work together. Uh, really, we wanted to in Daytona it just didn't work out. But this 4888 shop is awesome. And I can't thank these guys enough. Can't thank Junior enough. Um, we we made, he made the decision that uh, my car was faster leading and the way these things have been finishing up that lead car is going to have the win so in some respects he was more worried about the team having a good performance than anything and uh, very responsible for this win today so big thanks to Lowe's the fans my fans um, all these fans out here watching this race and it uh, looks like we're going to have a little fun tonight these guys are getting rowdy looks like the guy who gets the checkered flag doesn't get to keep it you gave it away 
Well, I got it, and I gave it to him. He goes, I don't want it. I said, well, I got to give you something. Here, <laughs> thanks. So he's got the he's got the checkered flag over there, and uh, can't wait to tilt the cold one back with him and thank him for a uh, good job. Good job done today. All right, congratulations, Jimmy Johnson. Job well done.